there's a couple of things you can do. The first is you've got to turn the person you're talking to into an advocate for you, your own champion. And so they have to feel that there's, there's not too much risk in it for them and that they might look good if they propose a good idea. And so that takes some time, but it causes you to want to build a relationship with them uh, and, to, and to gradually get them on your side. Number two is when you do that, you should suggest something very incremental. A lot of people in big organizations that are governmentally controlled are very risk averse. So the shorter the thing you do, the better off it is. And third, you can actually find these decision makers. It's hard to find their home address. It's hard to find where they hang out, but you can find out. Who's the person and the company least likely to deal with consumers? And so therefore, he doesn't say no all the time. He likes to say yes. And so try to find that person and make a personal connection with that person. So those are ways to do it. Instead of berating them, talk about what their vision was for the agency, what their vision was for the company. I have a couple of ideas that might carry out your vision that may be um, uh, warrant in the forefront of the agency's consideration right now, and here they are. That's the, those are ways to, so, so find a champion, turn them to your favor, be incremental, and then find the decision maker and state things that really connect with them. Those are some things you could do.